Why, hello everyone! I'm your lovely host, Innocent, and welcome to another speed paint! Today we're doing something a little bit special, a little bit different. Today I'm drawing a birthday present. <laughs> I know, I finally remembered to hit record on something, and it just happened to be a birthday present! And this happens to be for the wonderful Twitch streamer, Cherry Sevenheart. Now, if you don't know anything about Cherry, they're a lovely drag queen who streams makeup and games, uh, a variety streamer, if you will. <laughs> I found them a while ago and just kind of became friends with them, <laughs> in a basic sense, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of funny how that happened. Oh well. But I drew them their... I drew them a piece of art that they use constantly now and I also drew their boyfriend one as well. And because it's their birthday on Saturday, I figured I should draw them something. Now, for the stream that they were doing particularly today, they were dressing up as Sailor Moon, because they love Sailor Moon. And I figured, you know what? I'm gonna draw them as Sailor Moon. But I had to wait until after they were done streaming, or at least doing their look, if I could do it. And yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> I don't really know how well it turned out in my opinion. I just kind of went with it and hope for the best. They like it, so that's something, right? <laughs> I was also trying to do this secretly while they were streaming. I don't know how well it worked because I was like gone 90% of the time. I just had to, I listened to them in the background. The one thing I could, if I could change about this would be the hair. I don't like how I drew the hair. But I like how floofy and flowy it was, but I wish I, I wish I could change it. I, I don't know how I would change it, I just wish I could. But with that being said, I really do think that it came out relatively nice, even though it's more simplistic in how I do my style, I think, probably. I don't know. I don't know what I do with my style ever, so. <laughs> I don't really know a lot about Sailor Moon. That might come as a surprise to a lot of people. I do love um, magical girl shows and everything, but I never watched Sailor Moon when I was little. I have the complete first season in a DVD box set. Still haven't watched it. <laughs> All I know is that I love um, Tuxedo Mask and I dearly wish that I could cosplay him. That's about it though. <laughs> so Knowing that Cherry loves Sailor Moon, figuring out to draw him as Sailor Moon, perfect. Then knowing that he was totally going to, you know, dress up and like go out as Sailor Moon, I believe he's going to Comic Con in Australia? And he's going to some show, another drag queen show, maybe? Probably? I, I have a shit memory, I'm sorry. <laughs> But he's actually going out and like dressing up as Sailor Moon and he couldn't get the wig in so which is that's why the um, hair for Sailor Moon looks different. But I think that makes it better for um, drawing purposes because it doesn't look like so it, it's not a carbon copy of Sailor Moon and it's awesome. <laughs> You'll see when I get to the coloring process I actually bring up the first drawing I made of Sherry. You might have seen it on social media, maybe. Or, or you know Cherry and you've seen it on the stream a, a billion times. I don't know. I, I don't know your life. <laughs> also, I should have probably brought more um, references into my program, but I didn't. I just kind of went with it and hoped for the best. I do that with everything. Also, the pose was kind of based on... Oh god, I don't know the Sailor Scouts. Uh, uh, the orange one. The orange one with... Venus? Is that her name? The orange one with blonde hair that... Yeah, I based it off of that one, that pose. I don't... Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, she poses differently with her other arm, but the whole one arm up, I kind of based it roughly on that and hope for the best. I think it turned out well, because I didn't want to do another, like, Sailor Moon-esque style with the, the like peace sign in front of her eye because I've done I did that with regular cherry and I didn't want to be distasteful and do that again because <laughs> it just kind of felt like copying the same exact thing you know eh, I don't know what I'm doing I'm just kind of filling air by talking <laughs> I'm sorry 
<laughs> the coloring process was fun. I tried to be as simplistic as possible and I think it turned out all right. I kind of like how I did the hair, but I've been trying that out with chibis lately and it's gone well with chibis, so I thought it would go well with here. I don't, I don't know. I also love drawing blondes. Blondes, mm, good shit. <laughs> Not to say that redheads aren't, but mm, blondes. <laughs> and I, I just had fun with this. If you're not having fun with your art, why bother? <laughs> Am I right? Just me? Okay. Yeah, um, the other thing I could, if I, if I could change anything about this would be the lips, but I don't know how to draw full lips relatively easily, if that makes any sense. Um, I try my best, but with my style, if I make them any more realistic, they look wonky. So I'm trying my best to do it right. <laughs> I don't know if that's working or not. Uh, but you'll see, well, you'll probably see it in the corner because I do the thing. Yeah. But, uh, the other thing I didn't want to do was make this a full body, but that's because I just didn't want to draw boots. And I couldn't be asked to actually look up a reference for Sailor Moon's boots. I probably could have, it was easy, but I didn't. Also, side note, I know the colors are slightly off. I wasn't really referencing what colors are exactly Sailor Moon's colors. All I know it's red, white, and blue, and I know where they go. So I know that they're not right. I also know the hair isn't the right color as well, but I was basing it more off of Cherry's wig, which is a more platinum blonde. So it's not really yellow, yellow, if that makes any sense. Like, her tiara is more yellow than her hair. <laughs> also, I know I forgot a few things and had to draw them in last second, but uh, that's just me. I forget a lot of things. <laughs> and see, here I go with the lips and I'm just like, oh, oh no. Oh no. Those are, oh, 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 oh. Like, up close they looked fine, but far away I was just like, whoa! Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> They look a lot better on chibis, I'll tell you that. I haven't really gotten a hang of it for the sound. I gave, I gave, I gave Salomon some blue eyeshadow because I, if I remember correctly, uh, Cherry was talking on stream that today, which was yesterday he was talking about that, but today, when he does this for the show he's going to, he's going to be putting on some blue eyeshadow, but he doesn't have blue eyeshadow, so yeah. Door closed. Somebody went to the bathroom. Ooh, the perks of living with people. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of had fun with this. Did very simple shading. Uh, simple for me. I could have gone even more simple and just did like simple cell shading and like didn't <laughs> didn't go with most of the other shading, but. I like being extra. I'm always extra with my coloring. Coloring is one of my favorite parts of drawing, if you can't tell. Oh, pardon me. It's also the, por the portion of drawing that I experiment with the most because I'm never satisfied. Is the right word? I'm never satisfied with any of my drawing, really. So to experiment with coloring is one of the best things I can do. And when it comes to all of my art, the most I'm proud of is the colored ones. <laughs> the sketches are good and all, but I'd rather look at the ones that are colored because, mm, good, yes. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I know other artists feel that way. Oh, they flush the toilet. Wonderful. But I know other artists feel that they, that way. They have something in the art process that they are most proud of, like some are line art, some is the sketching, some is coloring, some is particularly hair or eyes or legs or whatever. Mine is coloring. I love coloring so much. It's, 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 it's good. It's great. I also really like coloring shiny stuff, like her tiara. That was, I love, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so simple, but I love it. <laughs> oh. And the hair, it's super simple with what I'm used to, but I'm actually liking it a lot better. 
Like, it starts out the same, but it ends differently. I, I don't know. Do you guys like it? I, I don't know if I like it, I, but I'm using it because it looks okay and it's really simple and it doesn't make me waste, like, an hour on hair alone anymore, so we might be going back to this. I don't, I don't know. I experiment so much with everything that I do. I, I don't know why people like my art. It's, it's not consistent at all. <laughs> But hey, you do what you do. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm almost done with here. Here comes the shading of the hair. I'm using an the airbrush tool, relatively small, and just going in and going over where strands could be, and very roughly, mind you. And then I duplicate the layer to make it more intense. Then I go in with the marker tool and do highlights in a very light color, as highlights are. And I'm not really having any rhyme or reason to the highlights, just making strand looking hair pieces <laughs> and following the curves. But, you know, I'm trying my best. And then I kind of give more brightness back to the hair. And, and this is we're done we're done and it's awesome and i'm gonna let you guys go now <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope you had a wonderful time and i hope to see you all so very soon peace out <laughs>